Hey, yo, what's up? <clears throat> I'm trying to increase my voice so you'll be able to hear me loud and clear. So, hey, welcome to yet and another review. So today we are going to be taking a look at this thing I just bought. I'm going to put some um, fill light here. This is supposed to be like some kind of background light so everyone can clearly see what's happening just to separate the figurine a bit so yeah um today we are going to be taking a look at this thing i got this is an fs2 postcard no idea what it says down there but i picked this up at book off and i thought that it would be interesting because it says a postcard so i thought that maybe the inside of this thing is good but I haven't taken a look at the inside yet, so I have no idea what we're dealing with here. Man, Taiga looks so good. So anyway, let's open this up and see what we got. There you go. Hopefully I can do this in front of on screen. We are going to unbox this. This is the first time this thing had ever seen sunlight I'm curious to know what's inside I have no idea what's inside so you and me my friends my audiences you are going to be you are going to be seeing this the contents of this thing postcard things for the first time I really hope that it's that thing crazy I usually have something written there so this thing is Branded as Johnny and Associates. Johnny and Associates came up with this cardboard box that contains a lot of postcards. Mm. Really nice quality paper. Nothing back there. It's white, so you may want to clean your hands before handling this, otherwise, you're going to create smudges everywhere. So let's open it up. The box opens. Nicely. So there you go, we got our stuff FS2. And all this paper, they are bent out of shape like that. I have no idea what happened. Is it like a style six choice? I have no idea. So yeah, let's take a look. What do we get? I'm just gonna take out all these postcards to save time. Nice purple color though. Everything inside here is just another color box to complement this thing. So the first postcard that we got is this FS2 thing. No idea what's that about. Oh, this is a sticker. Yeah. I'm not gonna use that. But really nice color though. It's um neon color or something. What do you want to call it? First postcard that we have is this mask. Or face or scalp, head scalp, I have no idea. We have an afro overlooking the Fuji mountain. At the back, we can see it says postcard, Johnny and Associates. Probably like a bunch of street artists or something. You go way up, there, eh? Man. Uh, so, the second one, woo, you actually got this. This is a Pretty interesting, cool, and it's pretty. The paper is also very thick. Really, really nice quality paper that we have here. So yeah, that is some really nice art. It's got to be like Japanese illustration to the max. So nice. Let's look at all the detail. The colors are inverted. Or probably it was drawn like this. Oh my god, this is so good. I really dig this. This is really amazing. So far so good. Oh uh, uh, no, no, no. You can go down there, my friend. Mm -mm. You're going to be like the last picture I ever going to use. Because, we're, because you're ruined. Um, Freestyle 2. Satoshi Ono Exhibition in Osaka 2016. 3-3-4-3 Grand Front. Osaka and the detail just keep on going oh wow there is a lot of detail in that 
print. Oh my god. Oh, it's just video is crazy, my friends. Postcard, yeah. Let me just be putting something. And then we got this. I don't know what this is about. Why is it so blurry? I don't like this one. I hate this one. And then we got so pug. Huh. Uh, well, on camera, it kind of looks like crap. But, you know, in real life, it kind of looks nice. And then you have this face to face. Ooh hoo hoo. We got ourselves one of those. Um, what's the name of that song again? The one with the good solo? Yeah, that really reminds me of that art illustration. The face, I guess. You know? Remember? That's the song? The album cover of that song has the same exact aesthetic as this one. Looks so weird. And not to mention it's underwater as well. I wonder if the, the same artist did the illustration. And then we got ourselves this. It's not a jellyfish, it is literally just a cloth. But it looks like a jellyfish, right? Interesting. Obviously nothing at the back, it's just this postcard. And ooh, we got ourselves the face, a face of someone. Buried under all that sand. And then just bouquet out. Really nice, really nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. Oh, sculptures again. In front of that uh, studio audience. Really cool. And then we finish off with this. A picture of a person. With all the heads. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. Those were the contents of this postcard box. I like the black one with the illustration one. Uh, that is by far one of the best things I've seen in my life. So yeah, that was a little bit underwhelming. I thought that we were going to see some anime titties, but instead what we got is just a bunch of really artistic postcards and I have to say they're pretty good I mean like if you appreciate Japanese culture other than the anime side of things you will probably going to appreciate all those things that the art is pretty exper experimental yeah. it's like looking at an art gallery modern art gallery what this millennial artist is doing you know not bad not bad not bad at all quite an experience I almost feel like you went to Japan yourself so there you go that is what this postcard box have in store for us hope you enjoy the review and I'll see you again next time in the next video or something later